Here's the MDX top count and bottom count uh, functions, and this is very common because people want to order a, a set by value uh, in order to focus attention on the most critical data, whether it's at the top count seeing what the best is or the bottom count seeing you know, uh, the bottom portions. And I've shown you the uh, two sets of codes. They're very similar. Down here I'm retrieving top count down here, dropping on down, so I'm looking at internet sales amount and I want to retrieve the uh, product subcategories members and I want to retrieve the top three on top count. Here it is dropping on down and now here's bottom count just the reverse no sales or null and if we come over and take a look in the query editor here's bottom count we'll execute that first and again you see down here bottom count three if I change that over and go 13 now, as you see, dropping on down, null is, is re, uh, in this mathematical function, it returns back there as zero. Now, if we come on over, and let's do that one later. Here's top count, and I'm going to use the order function down here also. So I'm going to order this on down. I'm going to break the hierarchy. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use top count uh, to come through and show you the, the order function. So now I've got these orders as I drop on down and now as I come over and take a look I'm going to come through and I'm going to use I'm sorry I kept saying top count over here I'm using the order I'm going to come back over here and now I'm going to use top count function to come down and retrieve the top three products so so here's my ordering here's my top count road bikes mountain bikes touring bikes and as I see road bikes, mountain bikes, touring bikes, essentially the same thing. Top count uh, calls that in is essentially the same query down here. And again, if I just change out my code instead of retrieving the top three and I do 13 like I did with bottom count, and now my orders drops on through.